Hello, welcome to Scaffold Design for Scaffolders. I am Alejandro Garcia. If you're watching this video, it's because you have already seen the first lesson and you have done your homework. If you haven't, please go watch now the first video and do the exercises and then come back. If you remember, we talk about forces and that according to Newton's second law of motion, a force equals the mass times the acceleration. We say that convert kilograms into newtons or kilonewtons, we will consider always the acceleration of gravity. So basically, equation becomes mass times gravity. And also to simplify, we say that we will consider 100 kilograms equals 1 kilonewton. Now I will solve the exercises both ways with 100 kilograms equal 1 kilonewton and with the equation. First exercise, calculate the weight in kilonewton of a 350 kilogram machine. Let's start with the short version. So we know that 100 kilograms equal 1 kilonewton. So we just have to divide by 100. So we have 350 kilograms divided by 100 kilograms that there are in a kilonewton. So we have 3.5 kilonewton. And now with the equation, we have the mass, we know gravity, so three hundred and fifty kilograms times nine point eighty one meter per second square, and that's three thousand four hundred and thirty three point five. Newton. If we do, if we divide by 1,000, we have the kilonewtons. So that's roughly 3.43 kilonewtons. As you see here, it's slightly more conservative to consider 100 kilograms equal one kilonewton than using the formula. That's another reason to make it easier. It's faster and it's slightly more conservative. Let's go to the second one. Calculate the mass of a concrete block with a weight of 25 kilonewton. So, as before, if we start, we know that, uh, I write it again, now we have kilonewtons. So, 25 kilonewton, 100 kilograms per kilonewton, we get 2,500 kilograms. And then with the equation, we know the, the force equals mass times gravity, <clears throat> we have the the force and the gravity. We just want the mass. So mass is going to be equal force divided by gravity. So 25 kilonewtons equals 25,000 newtons divided by 9.81. And that's 2,548.5, sorry, 0.4 kilograms. Okay, so if you remember from the first exercise, to go from kilograms to kilonewtons is more conservative considering 100 kilograms equals 1 kilonewton. 
to do the way backwards from kilonewton to kilograms, it's better to use the equation. Last one. Calculate the weight of a 100 kilogram scaffolder on the moon where gravity is 1.62 meter per second square. Here we can only use the equation. The mass is 100 kilograms and we have the acceleration of gravity. And that's 162 newton. If you want it in kilonewton, just divide by 1000. So we have 0 0.16. So that's it. I hope you did all the exercises correctly. If you didn't, please try again. And if you have any questions, please let me know and I will do additional videos if it helps. Thank you. Bye.